friends, it's Tilly and welcome to another spooky season. I'm so excited that it's October and time to work on so many fun Halloween ideas. Last year, I bit off a little bit more than I could chew and never completed Loki and Sylvie. So first, I'm going to be finishing off those costumes. Today, we're going to start with a simple and fun project, making Loki's tie from the Disney Plus show Loki. So let's get started. His TVA tie has a really unique design that's slim, rectangular in shape, has a striped pattern, and cute little hourglasses. I think they add a really nice touch. I originally thought I might be able to find similar fabric or design it from a custom shop, but looking at fabric I didn't find any I liked, and rather than getting costly custom fabric, I decided to keep it simple and use fabric paint. I'll put a list of materials below, none of which are sponsored. I used a slim brown tie, brown thread, a needle, fabric paint in brown, white, black, and yellow, which I will mix together to get the right stripe colors, and a gold metallic paint for the hourglasses. I also used two clear sewing rulers and painter's tape to measure and mark out the design. First, I folded back the point of the tie, pinned it down, and hand stitched it into place. Then I taped it to cardboard to protect the table and taped the two rulers together next to it. This allowed me to carefully measure out each stripe and make sure they were straight. Following the image reference, we estimated that each small stripe was about a half inch and each of the gaps in between were two inches. three layers and a couple of hours to dry. But once it was done, we could peel off the tape. And now for the reveal. I think the tie looks super cool, and since the costume is more on the simple side, the attention to detail really makes it stand out. Up next, I can show you how I customized a pattern to make his very oddly designed and distinctive shirt. This was actually my second time making the shirt. I tried last year, but never released the video because I wasn't happy with how it turned out. But this one is much better. So subscribe, so you don't miss the rest of the Loki and Sylvie costumes coming together. For now, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Here are my socials if you'd like to follow along and we'll see you next time.